I just found some profitable Lego sets sourcing Target using Selleramp and I did it manually. I've done a lot of reverse sourcing videos, which is great for beginners, but manual sourcing is where you can make a ton of money. So I cover exactly what I do. I reveal the sets that we found. Uh, you could go look at them as well. And I break down how to use Selleram, how to kind of dig for some deeper information and just some Q4 tips as well. So enjoy the video. Let me know what you think in the comments and get the free Selleramp master guide down below and a free trial if you haven't yet enjoy the video all right let's get into it this is kind of the sheet that i created using selleramp this is kind of what i use for youtube videos but let's just get into the sourcing i have down below there is a selleramp quick start guide it shows you exactly how to set this sheet up and everything like that so the cool feature that i want to show you today i don't know a lot of people don't really talk about it um is a lot of the times a lot of people it's going to save you a ton of time so a lot of the times if you were sourcing this site you would basically just open a bunch of pages and kind of now this does depend on the site and then you would kind of see you could either pop this up like that if you want to but there is a much quicker way to do this so this is great when there is actual sales so target right now is having 20% off of Lego. So what we can do here on Target, this is kind of specific to Target. This does not work for every site. You can literally just right click just like that and pull up the data right here. So it goes much, much quicker. You don't have to open the pages. You could literally just do the right click just like that. I do this a lot when there are mini sales like this. Like there's only... I don't know, 37 items that are actually on sale at Target. So this one didn't pop up. So another way you could do this is you could just grab this text like here and then open that up just like that. It just makes sourcing much, much quicker. This set may not be on Amazon. That might be why it's popping up. You might want to go to Amazon and kind of type in this exact kit set. Um, but it just makes sourcing go so much faster. You don't have to wait to open all the pages and stuff like that. It just makes it so much easier. Ooh, maybe we actually have something here. Um, this is a 21247. Let's open this up on Amazon. So I really use this as just kind of like a quick look to see if I want to open it much more. I'm looking at here max cost. $14. This is $17.59. I could leverage a discounted gift card for probably like 7% off. So that could help get that down. But I'm just really looking for just quick wins like this. If Amazon is on this, I'm not interested. So this just cuts down a lot of back and forth. So this is 21247. 21247. Um, $17.59. Let's see what that looks like. 17.59. So you're looking at about 17% ROI. Let's check out the Keepa chart. This is 173 days old, which is interesting. Um, looks like the review count is going up, which is good. Maybe last year this did not have a sales rank, which would be somewhat interesting. We see down here that that is looks like almost under 300 sales rank so obviously last year this went pretty uh sold for a good bit of money um that's kind of a good indicator sign then it kind of looks like there wasn't that many sellers it looks like the amazon took away the buy box for whatever reason people were getting 29.99 um and then the buy box came back at 35 and now it's been kind of bouncing around Let's see, with Q4 here, I mean, I'd probably buy five to 10 of these, maybe. Uh, you'll see there's one seller here that has it for $30.99. Everyone else has it for $37 and above. Um, we could scroll down here to see the buy box statistics. So it looks like the buy box is it's been suppressed most of the time, but we could see that when there is a buy box, these sellers are getting it. And we could see how much they are getting their average price. 
So let's see here. 84% of the buy box is one when it's suppressed. So that doesn't really help us per average price in this scenario. We do see someone's winning it at 33, 1% of the time. Um, not necessarily seeing this 30.99. Again, these are just statistics. So this is 30.99, what it is currently at, which is interesting. Obviously these people are probably pricing higher for Q4. Um, this is normally 21. So 17.59, if you could get a discounted gift card for, let's just call it 7% on top of that. So we're gonna do 17.95 times 0.92 so that's going to get us down to 16 18 so about 28 percent four dollars profit at kind of 32 that's what it's popping up um because this is the prime it looks like or no this is being merch fulfilled this is an interesting one i actually like this one a lot um, I would definitely buy five to 10 of these. I'm going very, I'm not going deep on anything this year. Um, good sales rank here. Q4 is just around the corner. Um, it looks like it did dip down to 2150, which is not great. Um, with a break even being 2765 on this, but you just got to look at your upside, your downside. If this goes back up to about 34.99 you're looking at a six dollar profit again nothing crazy not a whoa my god this is amazing but um it is a decent i don't know something i buy five or ten of you know i'm not going to get rich off this but not going to get killed on it either so i actually really like this one a lot uh so what i would do here is i would open up the target i would grab that and then what I like to do is I put it in here and then I will hit save that. And then I'm going to put this into uh, the ATT buy sheet. So that's kind of what I use for sourcing in my school community. I also have one for out of stock. So if this was out of stock and it was good, I'd put it there. If this was kind of on the fence and I was looking for a bigger sale on it, uh, right now, this is 20% off. This could probably go maybe 30% off during a Black Friday sale, potentially. Um, and then stuff that's good for the holiday. So I have four different sheets. So what that just did, that dropped this exact product into here. So I would add here, target. And then you could put your order number once you order. Um, how many you ordered? I would order at least five of these. And then you would just tab this down. And that would give you how much you spent on the items. And then I track the, the, the price that I'm trying to get. So in here, I would usually put what I'm trying to get. So I might put as high as $37.99. This way, when my prep center or me goes to list it, we know what to list the price at. And then I have all these other things. If you want this exact spreadsheet, this is in the Selleram Quick Start Guide. It is absolutely free. Uh, so, and I show you exactly how I set it up. Let's see if we can find some more stuff. So let's see here. So that doesn't happen too often uh, when you kind of just get one right off the bat like that. But I mean, I like it. All right. Uh, Lego Disney. Let's see. Open that up. Celebration 432. That's 436. Oh no, this one isn't popping up. So sometimes you could just take this. This is just kind of for like a little quick thing. So if you could sometimes for Lego too, this will just pop up since it's just kind of iconic if you just grab that. So here it is. It has a really high rank hmm. this is kind of interesting I'm not sure why that rank is so high it looks like there is two listings for this which is interesting let's dig down into this a little bit um, sorry just the thing looks like it okay 
All right, so this is 452 days old. This one is 504. This would be a risky one because obviously someone created one of these listings. It looks like Amazon's never been on either. So usually if there's two separate ASINs like this, how it is here, um, I would always sell on the one that Amazon was on because that's usually the original listing. In this case, there isn't one that is original, um, which is, this is a very interesting one here. How much is this? This is $35.99. This doesn't really work for the criteria though, that I'm looking for. That's another nice thing about SellerAmp. Once you set your criteria, um, you don't have to worry about it. I'm looking for a 30% ROI, and then they just do the math. I have my prep center cost in there and how much I ship to Amazon for. So this is 196. Uh, let's see. Let's see what this one looks like. This one seems to be getting a higher price. If you were to take a risk and sell on one of these listings, which was with everything going on at Amazon, I would not. Um, I would always go with the one that has the most history because obviously that is the original listing because it has more data than the other one. Um, just for fun here, let's see, $44.99. Yeah, it'd have to be $54.99. And it looks like someone, when they first created it, was getting that. It looks like Amazon did not give buy box at all. So this is one that I would skip just because the listing is kind of a little too risky for me based on everything's going on. Another thought about Lego, um, I know some people can sell it, other people can't. So it's gonna be a good opportunity for those of you who can sell it and for those of you who can't, that's unfortunate, but there might be less competition in Lego. For me, I've always sold a little bit of Lego, not a whole ton. Um, so that's always just been different uh, for me. We might not even go to any of these other sites. Um, let's see here, 867, what is this thing? Four, three, two, three, four. Yeah, I think so. Uh, is this a rogue listing? Four, three, two, three, eight, no. All right, so let's open this up. All right, 290 days, one days old. Um, pretty consistent here. You see a bunch of sellers jumped up. Price kind of came down a little bit. It looks like the seller count dipped here. Uh, we're definitely seeing like that price fatigue here um, after the big spike. Pretty consistently selling for in the 20s. They have it for 19. Targets has it for 9.99. Uh, we're going to use a 7% off discounted gift card. Strategy 9.99 times uh, 0.93. This is going to be a $2.38 profit, 25% ROI on this. This is with prep fees and stuff like this. If you prep this yourself, you're looking at a 40% ROI, which is not bad at all. Uh, this is small, so you could probably merchant fulfill this as well if you wanted to. Uh, 1996, this is only 291 days old. We don't have what happened last December. Not really indicative anyway, but we do see some big, like bigger numbers here. We're getting, you know, into the 22, 24, 25. This is one that I would maybe speculate on or potentially buy five of them, 10 of them, see what happens. Um, this is also a good one to probably, what I would do with this, honestly, I would put this probably on a Black Friday list and good for sale. Because uh, if you get that set maybe 30% off or even 40% off, um, that could really help and make that actually more profitable. I don't know, like this one based on kind of what I mentioned earlier. Uh, again, if you're not prepping it yourself, and this is if you're getting 19, 
if let's see here 1919 we could look at buy box statistics too if you scroll down here it's being shared evenly which is great we'll see here 2146 39 percent i would definitely buy this actually 2278 at 10 percent so we're seeing people are definitely getting more than 1996 again this isn't a crazy crazy oh my god this is amazing I'd probably price this at 24.99. I let my repricer kind of do the rest here and let it kind of just bounce up and down um, with the max min. So I like this one actually as well. I'm going to add this to the buy sheet. It is lagging a little bit. It is not seller ramp. It's because I'm doing screen record. So another good set here. Let's see what else we got. Again wide not deep this q4 um lego i wouldn't worry about as much everyone who probably can't sell it is going to be gated already just if you're still watching this video I, well, as of making this video there i have not seen any issues for me personally with lego but if it gets regated or something like that sorry but at the time i'm making this video there are currently not that many issues just people not able to sell it or apply this one right away, not even close here. So we're just gonna close that out. Um, but this is just so much quicker, just doing a right click and having to open up all the pages or even before seller ramp, you'd actually go to Amazon and type in the set. You'd basically copy and paste this into an Amazon page. This one we're gonna skip. So this would allow you to basically get through this page of 37 items. I mean, obviously I'm walking you guys through this stuff, it would just go much quicker and you can see oh this one's not on sale let's go to this one let's open this one let's see over there that's not going to work amazon's on here so right away i'm like boom amazon's on here i'm not interested batman could be good anything marvel could be good as well sometimes you have to click off here so now i gotta go back in here yeah, there we go. Uh, Amazon's on this one, so I'm not even interested in that. You'll see there are 19 sellers on this, so Amazon potentially might be selling, uh, sharing the buy box. Uh, we could take a look into that, but there are definitely sellers on here. Amazon's on here. I don't really like to compete with Amazon, especially on Lego listings, uh, but let's see. Looks like some people are getting 1% of the buy box, not a ton. This is a fast moving ASIN F4K, Batman, Mar DC Comics, um, good brand. Uh, what I was saying before, also with Lego, I don't worry as much because Lego tends to hold its value. So if you're selling on Walmart or even eBay, um, you should be able to move these if you were to get regated in this. Again, Amazon is on this, so I am not interested in that. I just really wanted to show you this because it just makes, you're gonna see a lot of sites having sales like this. Hey, we have a select bunch of Legos on sale. Go to this page, instead of having to just click them all open, it just makes it so much quicker to go like this. It'd be great if I could find one more set for you guys. Two sets in 18 minutes, not bad, especially for kind of just walking through this and going slower. Again, if you wanted to, you could always just highlight the text as well. This one, sometimes it doesn't come up. And this could be for a couple of reasons. It could just be that it's not on Amazon. I'm going to get rid of this because we're not going to source those sites since this one's going good. So pulling up Amazon, something like this, you could just literally grab this all here. Or let's try to just do this number first. Sometimes that will work. It did. So, so that's interesting. So it did pick that up just based on the number. So that's another tip for you. Sometimes you just got to grab that number. So there are no featured offers. This has been on here for 334 days. No BSR when they're 
was a BSR or no sales rank. So for those of you who don't know what sales rank is, it's basically how fast something sells on Amazon. You already see the uptick here. I don't like that. Uh, we basically went from 28 to about 91 people on this listing with no buy box. Not great. It looks like there was a buy box at around the $80 range in the 70s. Super consistent. One thing we can see here is the review count is going up, which indicates that it is selling despite not having a BSR. Um, what is this? This is $55.99. 7 percent off. Uh, 55.99 times 0.93. Looking at $6, 12% ROI. Definitely don't like that. Uh, this is going to be not a super big box, but not the smallest box either. Uh, 79, 79, 79. So I don't know where people would have gotten this. It looks like last December they got about 85. That was the top price. Again, these are just estimates. Let's put 85.99. Still 23%. Uh, too risky for me. Don't really love it. I mean, 20%, 23% ROI is all right. Uh, $12 profit is nice though. Uh, sometimes for Lego, I will go a little different on the ROI just because the profit's there. So you can make $12 on this. But if this kind of seller count wasn't going up like this, I would test some out uh, for sure because at $74.99, if that's kind of like the lowest that we're kind of seeing on these charts here. Yeah, we're at making 276 with a break even of 7175. This is one of those that I would grab here. I'd put this on a watch list. Um, that's one of the reasons why. Oops. Oh, here we go. I like seller amp too. Just makes it super easy to like. You don't have to drag and drop and copy and paste everything. You could literally just put, I'm gonna put good for sales. That's kind of like my watch list. Stuff that's like kind of on the cusp, something like this. It's 23% ROI. Um, and you know, if we get this for 30, 40% off, then it makes it more profitable. Definitely some good stuff. Um, Target Lego. Kind of surprised. I did not expect to kind of find this much stuff. So something like this, $62.99. We're not even close here. Uh, oh, this isn't the same one. Is this the same one? Let's see. I don't think so. No, it's not. Is it? Kind of looks the same. I'm just going to open this one because I'm curious. That's another good thing to be is curious when you're kind of doing sourcing because it's like, why was I curious about this? One of the reasons I was curious about this is because Target's price is $71.99 71 and the price on Amazon is $62.99 and Amazon is not on it. That's a bad sign uh, for me. It looks like, I wonder if they even got that $248.88. Maybe people got on here thinking they would get that. Um, but yeah, there's nowhere close to that. I was just curious about that. So we're going to skip over that. We'll do two more. Some more Batman here. Batmobile, 30, no. Amazon's obviously matching target right here. So you gotta be careful of that. Disney Lego does really well as two. Uh, so be kind of on the lookout for that. That's not gonna work. You'll see here, seven sellers, FBM. So people are probably getting it either to hold to December 
or they're listing it at kind of like a ridiculous price. And if someone happens to pay that, because there's a weird thing with stock or somehow they get the buy box or whatever, this one is out. See just how quick that is? It's like, that's not even worth looking into more. So I'm gonna open all these windows. I don't know if we're gonna find one more winner. Oops, that one didn't clear out for whatever reason. So if that one, for whatever reason, or if it's just being weird, this is the other option you could do. Just makes it so much quicker. I don't know why this isn't pulling up. Weird. I'm gonna jump to the next one. All right, what do we got here? 88.94, 63 dollars These, interesting. <laughs> uh, this math doesn't work, but the fact that this is ranked, this is might be a new set. There's two listings here. Uh, this BSR is obviously much higher. Let's just kind of dig into this. All right. Interesting. 546 days of history. Uh, basically selling at 87. Kind of actually anywhere from 71 to 87.99. That's kind of the range on this. Last November, let's see, went up to 95. Quickly dropped off. So you'll see here. This is a great example. You'll see here it comes on at 100. Everyone probably sees this. As more people come on, this price just goes down and it levels in like the 80, 79 to 87, as we said before. Pretty stable at this kind of 79 to 87 range here. Um, obviously, a lot of sellers are just kind of consistently on this. Um, let's see. 63.99. We're going to get 7% off. 3.99 times 0.93 some dollar profit 12 percent roi that's at 88 damn that is not good i don't know what these people are doing here um looks like there are some people listed higher though let's go down here real quick so we could see the the buy box is suppressed more than it is there is a buy box so that's kind of something to note people could be getting higher prices uh it's just not being reflected in the keep a chart i mean if you were on the a little risky or whatever i guess you could um definitely look into it more and see hey like could i move this at a higher price higher sales rank 37 percent here I mean, $7, I just don't really like this. There's a, like, a lot of risk involved with this. I mean, this might be something you want to watch. Put it, maybe if this goes on sale, like 30% off, um, that kind of gets you it's a little bit more um, to look at. So I'd put that here. Actually, I just grabbed the Amazon link. That's my bad. This is what we want to grab here. We're going to jump this. So if that happens, so what you could do is you could just edit this out just like that. And you have it. I'd put this on Black Friday. See if that set is on sale on Black Friday. And a reminder to check back. So that is what I got for you guys today. Easily to search. This works really great on Target. Maybe I'll do other sites. But... It's just really easy to do the right click instead of having to open up all these pages. Just makes sourcing sales like this that much simpler. If you want a free trial for 14 days to try this out yourself, check out the quick start guide below. There's, I don't know, four or five hours of content of me just sourcing, showing you everything you need to know to master Selleramp. And I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments.